Hello and welcome back to the fourth episode of the six week latte art boot camp. This week we're going to learn how to pour the rosetta. So if you've been watching all the way through, you should now have a solid understanding of hearts and tulips. I've been seeing the posts you've been sending me on Instagram and it's awesome to see how your latte art has improved already. Now the rosetta is another fundamental style of latte art. It is sometimes referred to as a leaf or a fern. Now the secret to a good rosetta is getting the flow happening in the cup so that when you're wiggling that jug from side to side, it helps move the lines around in the cup. Now in order to get this flow going, holding your cup on a bit of an angle is really helpful. So we're going to start by setting the crema just as we've done with all of our patterns so far. Because our rosetta has those finer leaves, having a really good solid crema is really important to stop your pattern from washing out. Now once your crema is set, we're going to move the jug in and give a little push like we did with that tulip bulb in order to start creating that flow in the cup. You can either do this by stopping pouring and starting pouring again with that tulip style bulb, or you can simply just move that jug close to the crema and wait for that flow to start in the cup before you start wiggling. Now that wiggle is what makes the rosetta happening. So gently rock your jug side to side and you'll start to see those lines fall into the cup and wrap around. We want to see some lines wrap around the spout of the jug. And once this has started to happen, you're going to move slightly into the pattern as you continue to wiggle to complete the base of the rosetta. Now the next part of the pattern is tricky to perfect. Uh, you want to keep rocking evenly from side to side as you're working your way back up the cup. And once you get to the edge, you want to lift up your jug and pull through to cut through that pattern and create the leaves of the rosetta. So just something to note with the rosetta, you can change the style of your lines with how fast you wiggle. So the faster you wiggle, the thinner your leaves or lines will be, and the slower you wiggle, the fatter your leaves will become. So some people purposely slow down their wiggle to create this slow zetta in the cup. The biggest thing you'll want to practice with this one is making sure that your wiggling from side to side is nice and even. If you have a jug with a thinner spout, it might make things a little bit easier, but you can use a fatter spout as well. If you want, you can practice with water in your jug and in your cup just to try and get that wiggling nice and even. Make sure you give the rosetta a good practice this week because next week we'll be combining the tulip rosetta and the heart pouring techniques and putting it all together to create the swan. I really hope you've been enjoying these videos and if you're learning a lot, make sure you just click that like button because it really helps build the YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really want to hit 100k subscribers by the end of the year. Remember, if you're needing some coffee and you're within Australia, you can use the discount code LATTEART, all one word, at the checkout to get 20% off coffee. Uh, I've been using Keyboard Warrior in these videos and it's uh, really good in milk and it's also really good for latte art. Lastly, I just want to thank Lamazoko again for the use of the Linear Mini uh, in this series. It's such a wicked machine, especially that steam one, and that really helps when texturing milk. I'm going to create a bigger video uh, reviewing all of the features of the machine in the next week or so. That's all for this one, and remember I'll see you next week for that swan tutorial. Until then, keep frothing.